I got into the, the Zoom a bit late. So I didn't actually see how you brought out those lines, those uh, signal lines. Okay. Like the yellow Basically, one. what we are using here are just two indicators. And if I go ahead and close these indicators, go ahead and close. We are using just two indicators, okay? So what yes. I, I actually told everybody that joined this meeting today is that I'm going to show them an indicator that gives them a buy and sell signal to be able to you know, follow up. And to, to use this indicator, you need, you need a trading view to use it. So on a trading view here, once you log into your trading view and you want to go to the indicator tab here and click on it where it says indicator uh, metrics and strategies, go ahead and click on it, this pops up. So the name of the indicator is called Chandalia. Hmm? Okay. So go ahead and type Chandalia here. Sorry. So once you type, this is Chandalia or Chandalia or something. Yes, Chandalia. Chandalia. Uh, so it is created by this Evergate. Um, this is the developer of this indicator. So if I go ahead and click on it, it adds that indicator to my trading view. Okay. And okay. I, I told them here that majority of these indicators you see it gives you more clearer picture or clearer signals when you are using a higher time frame. Okay? When you are yes. using a higher time frame, you can get a signal that can give you a reasonable amount of profit. Right? So as you can yes. see here, we got a sell signal here. This is on a four hours time frame. We got a sell signal here, and you see that the market pulled down up to this extent. So here you would have made some profit from here. If I bring uh, my measurement to, let me say, the price range, and let's say you took this signal somewhere here and you close the trade somewhere around there, you would have been making around 20%, okay? Uh, in the market, yes. you would have been making around 20% or so. So um, this gives you a clearer picture. All indicators gives you a clearer picture when you are doing, uh, a, when you are using it in a longer time frame. But there's difference between um, somebody who is inter trading and then somebody who is doing swing trading. Swing trading is your trade can last for a day, it can last for days, it can last for weeks before you've actually it actually hits your target. Why day trading? Inter trading means that it's just a short time period when you're scalping the market, okay? When you want to scalp the market, you scalp the market with a, low, a shorter time frame. So if you go to five, 15 minutes time frame, you can use 15 minutes to scalp the market, you can use five minutes to scalp the market. Okay, and this can equally give you a signal on a shorter time frame where you can take profit, you know, you can take, set or take profit and stop loss as well, okay? So once you put it, you just, uh, I don't do any other settings to this indicator, but if you want, normally what I do, if I don't want all of these lines that are showing up here, I can go ahead and click on the setting icon here. And uh, if I come in here to styles, on the styles here, um, on, I, what I can do is if I want to remove these lines, okay? These lines that yes. follow the sell and buy signal um, is to go ahead and you see the long stop here. Once you click on it, it goes off and then you see the short, um, the short one is, um, where is the short? Okay, this is the short. If I click on it, the line goes off. And that thing I can move is this background you are seeing here. So if you want to remove the background, you click on the uh, long start field, it goes ahead, it goes off, the short start goes off. But majorly, um, you may not want to do this, okay? You may not want to check this off because if, for instance, this signal appear, if I zoom at this, let me go, this is on the five minutes time frame. This is even closer on the chart. Okay, this is not closer on the chart. So when it appears on the candle, so to the candle, sorry, when this cell signal appears there, you may not, if I go ahead and off this background, you may not necessarily know where, let's say the next candle is equally red. You'll be confused where this is. So when this bar background, this red background is there, you know that it appeared on this candle, okay? So the, yes. the red background, the red and green background are there to actually guide you to equally know. So if I zoom at this, um, the buy signal was close to the candle. So this is, uh, it was close, but from a five, if you don't zoom it out, you would have thought it appeared on this candle. But from one mm. indication, it actually appeared on the second candle because this is where the background started, okay? So it appeared on the second candle and you can go ahead and take that as well. And then why I added the other indicator is the moving average is I come in here to type in EMA and then this moving average exponential is what I added to the chart. 
And when you add it by default, this is how it is. You go ahead and click on the moving average. And then you change, come here to the input and change it. You can use 100, you can use 200, okay? So I use it, if I'm scalping the market, 100 is okay for me. So I will use it um, as 100. Once I click on 100, I come to the style, I make the line a big ticker, okay? I can make it a big ticker, I can change okay. the color to whatever I want. And uh, just click okay. Now, how we use this moving average is to determine the price, the trend of the market, okay? And I say, okay. if these candlesticks are trading below this 100 moving average, you are only going to look for a sell signal. For instance, this sell signal appeared above this. And this is where it, it appeared on this candlestick here, somewhere. Okay, the candlestick actually traded below the 100, um, the, the 100 moving average, the EMA here, okay? Yeah. So I would have yeah. taken this trade there. I would have confidently taken this trade. So whenever you see a signal, uh, and the candlesticks are trading below the 100 moving average line, go and take that signal. And when you see a buy signal and the candlesticks are trading above, like here, okay? This actually appears yes. on this candle and then the next candle closes on top of this. The third candle closes above it. So whenever you see a buy signal and the candlesticks are trading above the 100 moving average line, go ahead and take you that buy. signal. Exactly. So yeah. the, the moving average here is just there for you to you know, determine the movement of the market. And then when you see the signal, you go ahead and take the signal. Okay. So these are just the yeah. two major indicators that I added here. One is the chandelier. If you just type exit, it will show you the chandelier uh, exit indicator. And then the other one is the moving average. So, um, Leonard, I'm looking at this. Um... I'm in OK Exchange, and I'm trying to set up <clears throat> as you had been uh, kind of uh, talking. And it looks like it's, to trade features here is it's also known as perpetual. Is that, is that correct? Isolated, 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 because I didn't want it to be across all the accounts, and I'm selecting just. Uh, all uh, right. Um, can you can you look, take a look at my screen? Take a look at my screen. Uh, so the yes. same the same settings that I did here. Okay. Let's say we took this trade somewhere around here. We bring in our long position two. So if I bring in my long position two, we enter this market around there. Let's say we want to take profit at when this market increases by five percent or six percent, and then our stop loss will be at uh, one point eight percent. Okay. Um, if I come in here to OKX. I want to go to trade and then go to the margin trading or so. Margin trading, yeah. So if I click on it, it will open up my, my trading interface. So now that yeah. I've set up this here, my entry price is going to be here. You know, this one that is gray, which is 37642, right? That is where my entry price is going to be 34. Uh, what's it again? 37642. That is my entry price. So if I come in here, I'll select BTC USDT perpetual. Now it's perpetual you are going to trade. It's perpetual, it's around trade features. Features has expiring date. If you are trading features, if you don't close your trade before the expiring date, it means that when the expiring date reaches, the contract will automatically be closed, whether it is in your favor or not. It automatically be closed. Okay. okay? Yeah. So I always trade well, perpetual. perpetual. So yeah, I go ahead and select BTC USDT perpetual. When I select BTC USD perpetual, I want to use a limit order. When I go ahead and click on the limit order, I'll go ahead and put the entry price which we got here, which is 37642. So I'll go ahead and put 37, you know, sorry, 37642. That is our entry price, okay? Now, depending on the amount of funds you have on your, uh, on your account, you go ahead and determine the amount of money you want to trade. If it is one BTC, I'll go ahead and put one BTC here. But otherwise, you can use the slider indicator here, the slider icon here. If it is 10%, if it is 20% or 100%, it is going to use 100% of your funds, okay? If you are... Now, another thing I, I didn't mention here is that you're, you need to select your margin first. If you want to trade with cross, remember the instruction here that I've always, always said that cross trade with the whole account balance you have on your trading account. Okay? So meaning that if for any reason you don't put stop loss and you're liquidated, you lose all of the accounts. And uh, for isolated, it is only that money you are risking that you are, 
you are going to be trading with okay and then you go ahead and set your leverage um okay as equally gives you uh, the um gives you that option of trading up, up to trade one one to the five x leverage okay one to the five s leverage for some of the coins that are here like btc i can trade up to one to the five s leverage so if i select one to the five s leverage and confirm that it should give me warning that that leverage is too high but once you have enough funds in your account, go ahead and confirm that. After that, we want to trade. This is a long position, right? Okay, long position. We want to long the market using the open option here. Yeah? So we we'll put in our entry price. We put in the amount we want to trade with. Um, let me just use like you know thirty percent of our account balance. And then the next thing we want to do is. To, Go ahead and set our take profit and stop loss. So I'll check this take profit and stop loss here. Um, and then the take profit will be, take profit will be at, uh, this is where the take profit is 39915. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put. You got that from trading view? Yes, now I'm using the long position too. This is the long position too. This is where I want to take okay. profit. So I've said where I want to take profit here, and the, the take profit here is at 39. Can you see this? 39,915. Yeah. That is where I want to take profit. So I come in here and set my profit at 39,915. All right? So, and it's going to be with the market order, okay? So OKX is letting us know that if this market gets to 39,915, that is because of the amount of money we are risking here, okay? The amount of money we are risking here will make us profit of uh, twenty-two dollars. Okay, twenty-two dollars using that one twenty-five x. If I go ahead and use the whole account balance, hundred percent of the account balance, uh, we still want to take profit at this thirty-nine nine one five. It will still make us that same profit. If I want to set stop loss, our stop loss will not be on the trading view. The stop loss there is thirty-six nine six zero. So I'll come back here and put it there at thirty-six nine six zero okay and uh here it is letting us know that if it gets to this price we are going to lose six dollars okay this is what is going to cost us and we can go ahead and click on this open hmm? right and open now and it will give you all of the details that okay your price is this the amount is is going to cost you this and then the type is this and your take profit and the rest is this your stop loss is this i'll go ahead and click on confirm and that trade will be placed, okay? Um, because I don't have enough funds, I needed $300 or they're about to be able to pull that. Since I don't have funds on my trading account, I won't be able to carry that. If not, you would have seen it showing here as pending trade, okay? Once you see showing that pending trade, when the others, when that condition is met, automatically it is triggered. And when the take profit condition is met as well, it goes ahead and take profit and so on, okay? So it's, it's, it's as simple as that, but make sure that you set up your, you know, leverage. You can use 50x, you know, go ahead mm -hmm. and then use either cross or isolated, any of these you want to use. So when I select isolated, you see that the leverage changes, okay? When I select cross, the leverage equally changes, all right? So for isolated, I need to, since I want to long the market, I'll go to the long option and select the leverage I want to use, click on confirm and confirm. If I want to short, I go ahead and select it, click the leverage you want, click on confirm and confirm as well. Then you put in your details using these, you know, parameters that this um, uh, long position two has mm -hmm. given you. Okay. So the long position two is telling us that our take profit will be somewhere around here. So let me just mm -hmm. mark that out. And then our stop, our entering price is somewhere around there. And then our stop loss is somewhere around there, okay? So you use these parameters here and go ahead and enter the trade. And when it goes in your favor, you make profit. If it doesn't go in your favor, once you use your stop loss, you know that you've lost that as well. I don't know if that is clear enough using this on OKSR. Yeah, but um, I think what I missed in all of this, because I was trying to open up OKSR, I missed uh, how you set up it. Sorry, is that there, did you did you attach um in a, a an earpiece to your phone because I'm not hearing you clearly? Oh yes, sorry, hold on. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, sorry, I was using an earpiece. So I said I kind of missed how you set up your uh, long trade uh, 
an instrument on uh, trading view. So I'm kind of not seeing those numbers that you got that you are using to take your your trade on OK Exchange. So is it like an indicator you found from somewhere or is one of the okay. um, um please pay attention to this. Now yeah. now we are using this Chandalia um, indicator as our signal indicator, right? I got that. I got that one here. Yeah. Now when you get the buy signal. You don't just go yeah. to you don't just go to your exchange and just start placing order like that. You understand? When you get the buy signal, yeah. there is a two year that is for you to use. There is a long position two on the trading view, and there is a short position two. You understand? Okay. So now I got this buy Where signal. Where do you find it? Um, hold on. I got this buy signal here at this candle. Yeah. Let me zoom this out. This is the candle where we got the buy signal. Okay. So the long position two is when you cut, these are your drawing tools. All of these are your drawing tools. When you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the seventh one here is your measurement two, your predictions and measurement. If just over, over it, okay. Just over, over the arrow, it gives you the name. We have, if I over, over the arrow here, you see your, you know, your cursors, you see your trend lines and tools, you see your GAN and, you know, Fibonacci tools. You see your um, geometric shapes, you see your annotation tools, you see your patterns. Then the next one will tell you it is prediction and measurement tools, okay? So your long and short position tool will be seen at these predictions and measurement tools, right? So if you click on the arrow here, it gives you all of these. These are all the tools that are under the prediction and measurement tool. And because it is a buy signal we saw, we want to use what? the long position two. So if I click on the long position two, I'll come in here on the buy signal candle and put, put it there. So we are assuming that we want to long the market from here. So here, okay. uh -huh, when you come in here to the price tab here, you see that the gray one, the gray price, here, this one that is highlighted gray here, is the entry price, okay? I can use my horizontal line here to show you that. This is the entry price. So let me bring this line. This is the entry price, which is this gray line here. And then this is your, your take profit will be somewhere around there, okay? And uh, your stop loss will be somewhere around there. I'm just assuming, okay? Um, but you can set up this, you, can, you, you may want to take profit at 2%, 1%. You may want to set your stop loss at zero point something, whatever you want to go ahead and put that, okay? So now that I've put in these horizontal lines, it means that I'm going to take profit at this 38 here, okay? 38,151, and then my entry price will be at 37,650, and my stop loss will be at 37,162, okay? So these are the numbers you want to go to your exchange. In this case, if I come in here to OKR, okay, these are the numbers you want to input into the exchange, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So you use limit order, or you can use market order, and you know, if for instance the price you saw here, the entry price is the same thing, just use market for that, enter the market, and you are good. Okay, I think that was what I missed. All right, all right. All right. So, but in my own case, so it's showing in percentage stop loss 2.49 percent. What is showing uh, in percentage? Stop loss 2.49 percent. Stop loss on the OKS. No, 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 on trade view. I'm, I'm in trade view now, I'm looking at trade view. When you take that uh, instrument. No, 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 no. The, you the percentage, that, uh, hold on, the no. percentage are showing up on, you know, the percentage I highlighted on the long position to here. You see at the top here, it means that the target here is 2.3732%, right? Yes. And then the stop loss is one point, yes. This is these are the percent. It means that if this market goes down to this level, look at it now on the price tab here on your yeah. trading view. By the right, you see your price tab here. These are the prices of this market right now. Can you see by the right here where I am hovering? My mouse is hovering right now. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. On the measurement to here, on the measurement okay. to the, if, yeah. if it hits my target, it means that I have profited 2% or 2.3% of this, which is what is showing you up here. But when okay. you trace but this to the price, when you trace this to the price, for me to be able to make 2%, it 
It means that for my entering price here, the market needs to go up to this green um, highlighted icon you are seeing at the top here. It means that my, the market needs to go to 38,536, okay? Which is where, if I bring this horizontal to, I'll go ahead and put it there. Can you see this horizontal line? Let me even make the horizontal line bigger. So. Yes. Um, the horizontal well, line at the top here, if you can see, this is my horizontal line. It's showing this uh, blue bar here, 38,546. Yes. Can you see? Are you seeing this, sir? No. I see the green, I see the, the, the line. The percentage green is line. showing here, the percentage is showing on the long uh, two here. It is telling you that this is the percentage you will make if this price gets to 38,546. Um, okay? And then the percentage well, of the... Right this, 38, five, this, I don't know. Let me bring my... I'm not seeing it at all oh i see 39 but that is the current price please can you yes, see man. where i'm drawing this thing can you see where i'm drawing something here no are you seeing my screen at all? i'm seeing your screen but you are seeing the whole screen yes then how can't you see where i'm drawing with the pencil icon here where i'm drawing can anybody see this? Please, can somebody react? Um, is, is it only one? Oh, okay. okay. All right. I've seen it. It was at the other end. Okay. I've seen it. Ah. I've seen it on the extreme right. Okay. I've seen it. So this is, this is, you know, this is actually telling you this. If I hover over this, it's telling you that to, your take profit will be by at 2.32%. Okay. So when you trace it to the price, this is the price bar of trading view. This is where you see the Bitcoin price. Right now, if I want to know what the current Bitcoin market uh, price is right now, um, let me just zoom this out, okay? So right now, this green line you are seeing, if you trace it to the price, it's telling you that the price of Bitcoin right now is 40,800, 40, isn't it? Hmm? 40,800. Yes. Uh -huh. So when yes. I use this, my take profit to here, my long position to here, you will see it giving a mark here. This is the green mark. Let me remove this horizontal line, okay? So that you see, because okay. once you put in I, I that two. What happened, yeah. Once you put I, in I, that two. I can two, see very well. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you see, this is where your entering price is. The gray one here is your entering price. The red one here is your stop loss, and the green one here is your take profit. So these are the price yes. you want to go to your exchange and input in your exchange. Okay. The problem I had was that my trading view was on percentage instead of log or put. So I wasn't seeing the prices on the extreme right. But I can see the prices now. And so I that, can that, see the, that makes yeah, it I can more see the open. Yeah, sorry, that was the problem. I trading view was doing a percentage, so I wasn't seeing any number, I wasn't seeing the price of Bitcoin at all. Yes, but I just switched it down to what to and I can see everything that you're saying. All right, the most important but thing. But I think it is top at 2.4 percent is too high. How do we change it? What? The stop loss. The, you are at liberty to set whatever you feel. You the stop to loss at uh, 2.49 percent. That I is think what it's I'm a bit saying. Too high. That it is, you are at liberty to set whatever you want, okay? And as I said at the beginning, I normally okay. set my stop loss at 0 0.4, okay? So I can drag this up until it gets to 0 0.4, or I leave it at the okay, next I window, see. okay? You can drag this, and wherever you put it, that is where you put your okay, stop loss. Okay, okay, I see it now. So you are liberty to okay. set it, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay, I see what... I think I've got it now. Because I want to set my stop loss low so that uh, I will not uh, be putting in the position. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. All right. Um, I guess with all of this explanation, a lot of us understand this. Um, basically, um, trading features could be somewhat tricky. We understand it could be difficult, but it is the best thing that will ever happen to you if you know how to do it right. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys this evening. There is no question, we'll call it a night and um, go ahead, practice this. I have, I have a question, please. Go ahead.
Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your teaching. Uh, um, for me, it's um, stiffer uh, to learn this uh, future. But I would like you to, if you can uh, teach us the uh, same thing um, on spot also, if it is possible. All right. All right. So yeah. uh, maybe by next meeting, we'll use this to. We use this to actually uh, do sports. Yeah, you know, sometimes when we want to buy some coin, we need to know uh, whether it's the right uh, time to buy it or not. It's right. You understand? It's right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, right. very, right. thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much. All right, do have a wonderful night, guys. I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay, bye.